What is up you guys? My name is Janabelle or Jenny Bill if you're Dominican and today's video is a casual little shop my stash drugstore edition. I used all drugstore products for this look. Um, so many of these products I've been loving for years and years and years. If y'all want to know what I used on my face then keep watching. All right, so as per usual, I'm picking up the Essence Lash and Brow Mascara. Gotta get these brows right. Even though I definitely have to do them, I just, I don't know, when it's come to like grooming myself, ever since quarantine started, I'm kind of just not doing anything. I'll probably do my brows next week because there's only so much I can take of this. I'm sure you guys have noticed I keep my brows thick, so. I'm doing them, but like not really doing them. Like it's just, my brows are starting to connect and then they're starting to grow wild up there. So, you know, gotta get that in check eventually. Next, I'm picking up the Maybelline Master Prime in the Blur and Smooth. This is her. Honestly, I was really inspired to create this video because I feel like I don't know if it's just me or if a lot of people feel this way too, but it just doesn't feel right um, doing like hauls right now or showing like the latest products that are coming out just cause you know, the world is in such a crazy state right now. And you know, people are worrying about putting food on the table. People aren't really focused on buying the latest makeup out right now just cause you know, everything is so crazy. I really just wanted to dig into my collection and Pull out products that are affordable, that I've loved for a really long time. So many of these products are a throwback, you know, they came out so long ago, but I really wanted to dig into my makeup collection and just whip out products that I haven't used in a while and, you know, just focus on drugstore products. I might do a high-end version of this too, I don't know yet. This was pretty spur of the moment, I mean, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock at night right now. I usually don't film at night, but... I don't know, trying something different. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. It's her right here, shade 30. Y'all remember when cushion foundations first came out in the US and everybody was just losing their minds? I mean, I was, I was one of said people because I love a dewy foundation. But when these first came out, it was like a whole ordeal. And I don't know if you guys remember, but this foundation was like $17. Which is crazy for a drugstore in the first place. Like, what you mean I gotta pay $17 for a drugstore foundation? It's Maybelline. Why is you $17? Now, foundation is like $6, which is great. I definitely repurchased this. Maybe like two, three times. And then I recently... Uh, thought about it and I was like, yo, what ha whatever happened to that foundation? And I found it on Amazon for six bucks. So here I am. Has anyone else been super rusty while, you know, staying at home? Cause my bones, I mean, my bones were already cracking. It's not like I go to the gym and stuff. I don't know if I, I probably should start stretching or something. I don't know. I need to find something to do to move my body because mm -mm. I love the finish of this foundation. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This packaging looks gross, but the product is good. This is pretty high coverage and it's kind of light too, so I don't wanna apply too much. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I had an allergic reaction to a moisturizer and my skin has been freaking out all week. It's, it's so annoying. Like I've been wanting to put makeup on. That's probably why I'm up at this time filming but i've been wanting to put makeup on all week you know get back to the content creation and just you know find a flow that works for me in terms of you know youtube videos filming and all that stuff i started using a new moisturizer and i wish i would have read the reviews first because it broke me the hell out it was so bad i mean honestly i still have a few bumps but it's way better than it was before so i was like you know what i could probably put makeup on now it was so bad it was all over my forehead um i was taking benadryl and it wasn't working so that was fun but i ended up using my topical um eczema cream and that was working so i've been using that for the past maybe three days 
and it cleared up significantly so i was just like i right, great i can get back to business damn i think i put too much on i forgot how mad this is what are you guys doing at home to keep you busy i mean i'm pretty sure everyone and their mom right now is finding these random hobbies aside from the allergic reaction my uncle tested positive for a coronavirus which it's been a stressful few days y'all like that's been driving me nuts just the thought of losing my uncle so out of the blue and stuff he has cancer and diabetes so he was definitely you know at a higher risk of getting covid but was wild like thankfully he's re he's recovering uh today we got some really good news that his breathing is better and his blood pressure is stabilizing his fever is gone which is a really good sign man when that good news came today i just i i cried like a little baby it's one thing for covid to affect you know people in the news people that you see on tv and shit but when you know it starts affecting your family and your friends you just uh it's 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 scary i'm pretty sure we're all scared of how uncertain everything seems right now but i mean what can we do we, we just gotta stay hopeful you know you just gotta take it day by day i'd love to know what you guys have been doing to keep yourselves busy during all of this like or have you picked up any new hobbies because i know like every everybody and their mom is sharing um coping mechanisms and just different ways to pass the time when they're at home it's just all over social media right now so have you guys picked up anything like out of the box have you gone back to your roots have you picked the hobby back up after you know not having the time before all this happened you know like let me know just the other day i made an amazon order for some acrylic paint just to see how i get back to painting i mean i used to paint a lot as a kid i figured it would be a nice calming activity to pick back up just because i'm an anxious mess y'all like especially with everything going on with my uncle i just i haven't been sleeping well i've been just super on edge so i figured why not i just use the primer bronzer by elf it's it's crusty <laughs> i've used it before but it's just it's one of my favorite contour shades to bronze i'm going to be using the butter bronzer by physicians formula this is the shade also sun-kissed bronzer <laughs> do you guys remember how much this smell was like overhyped all over youtube i'm not i'm not the biggest fan you know everybody's saying ah, it smells like a beach it's a tropical blah 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 regardless of the smell though i still i still love this bronzer i mean the color is really nice i'm just gonna clean up the contour a little bit with the powder i had used earlier that's the makeup revolution bacon black powder also well loved y'all know i like a chiseled look so that's what we're gonna go for today okay now this is a throwback this is the milani blush in coral cove I remember when these came out, everyone was like obsessed with the rose. I haven't used this in so long. I wonder if it's expired. <laughs> this is turning out to be a pretty matte look, but um, I'm definitely going to add some highlight. Bring some glow back because I can't live like this. Can't forget the nose, the chin, just everywhere. <laughs> For two seconds, I considered buying a switch to just past the time right and it's pretty much just sold out on amazon but i saw um samantha robindall here on youtube love her i've been watching her for years she talked about stardew valley super popular farming game and she tweeted that it was on sale for five dollars and like the true stand that i am i i bought the app have you guys downloaded any new games? Have you gone back to the Sims craze? Like, what are you, what are you playing right now? For the eyes, I'm going to be using the Cute AF ColourPop palette. This is what it looks like. I'm mainly going to be digging into the yellow shade. This is probably my most loved ColourPop palette. I mean, if you couldn't tell, like, it's mad dusty. Just the color combination is just so nice and fresh. 
I would say this palette is the reason why I got into pink shades. I mainly bought it for the yellow, which I love yellow, but the pink shades are so nice and now, I mean, if you look at my other tutorials, they're quite pink. Also, are y'all one of those people that <laughs> downloaded TikTok because of the pandemic? Because me, it's me, I am people. I was super like anti TikTok just cause, I don't know, it's a new platform and as a creator, it's already difficult trying to to master a platform and then to have to move on to the next one can seem super intimidating. So I was just like, no, I'm just focused on Instagram and, you know, I'm moving into YouTube right now. Like I was just I was just overthinking things, but I finally downloaded it and I can scroll for hours. TikTok now just takes up all my time. Before I do mascara, I just want to quickly fill in my brows just a tiny bit. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. <laughs> Don't mind my yellow pinky. I feel like so many YouTubers either speed through their brow routine or just do their brows off camera. My Honestly, my routine is just so short because I already have full brows. That I just, I leave the footage in there because I don't know, like maybe you guys are curious. But yeah, it literally takes me two seconds. Ooh, is that the yellow pinky? No, it's not. <laughs> it literally takes me two seconds since I don't want to over overdo the brows. I mean, they're already such a dominant feature on my face. I don't want to fill them in too much. Honestly, I go so many days without filling them in at all. It's just... Eh, depends on my mood. I'm using the Revlon So Fierce Mascara. This is the wand. I've used this mascara, I think, quite a few times on camera. It's just one of my favorites and it's affordable. And who doesn't love an affordable mascara? Because mascara is something that I run out of pretty quickly if I'm wearing it every single day. I think if I find a really good one in the drugstore i'd rather just buy that one over and over again versus going to sephora or ulta and re-upping on those because i mean that's more money i've been using this mascara for maybe like one or two years now so i wouldn't consider this like a classic mascara that i used for years and years and years but this is all reliable okay like i have so many tubes of this just ready to be open whenever I finish one. I always use my fingers to like push up or push back my lashes. I guess as like an eyelash curler. Is that what an eyelash curler does? I don't know. They never fit my eye. But yeah, I always push them back with my fingers and then I get I end up getting so much residue on my fingers. So this is gonna be the finished eye look. We are done with the eyes. Uh, moving on to highlight, this is an oldie. So I told you guys I wanted to use a highlight because I don't know, I'm feeling very matte right now. Like it's very spring, but it's also very matte. And I'm a glowing gal. So I'm picking up the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. When this came out, everybody was obsessed with it just because it was something new. I think this was probably one of the best highlights that were available at the drugstore for a while that brought a little life into my face for the lip combo i wanted to go back to my lip liner roots so i'm using the rimmel london exaggerate full color lip liner in epic which is just a typical nude shade i'm gonna overline my lips whenever i use a lip liner i'm like oh, why did i stop using them honestly they're just they just feel like an extra step. I just feel like I can get the same effect with, you know, like a regular lipstick. But you know, sometimes it's a nice little extra step. I'm not putting a lipstick over this, I'm doing a gloss, but I don't know. Sometimes I, I like the precision. Oh, this color is so nice. <laughs> I finished like three of these back in the day. They've been around for so long. And then to top it off, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Glossy Gloss in, what color is this? 
down to gloss. It's gonna be a little peachy moment. Oh, this is probably, this is gonna pair so nicely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. I feel like too many people sleep on Rimmel. Rimmel lip products, they hold it down. I really don't have that many um, setting sprays, so I'm just gonna use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist. Y'all don't even wanna know how many times I've gotten my hair stuck in this fan. We're not doing that today. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I haven't done a yellow eye in a good while. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.